Today we're reading Walt Disney's Mickey and the Beanstalk. This was a request uh, about a week ago, maybe two. There we go. Adapted by Dina Anastasio, illustrated by Sharon Ross. <clears throat> far, far away, where the trees were greener than the prettiest green and the sky was bluer than the brightest blue, there was a place called Happy Valley. In Happy Valley, the brooks babbled, the birds sang, and everyone smiled all day long. High on a hill overlooking Happy Valley stood a magnificent castle. In the castle was a golden harp who sang all day and cast a magic spell of happiness over the land. But one day, a terrible thing happened in Happy Valley. Someone stole the golden harp from the castle and the magic spell of happiness was gone. The birds stopped singing, the brooks stopped babbling, the crops stopped growing, the cows stopped giving milk, and all the people of Happy Valley grew sad and hungry. We must do something, said Farmer Donald. Oh! Or we'll starve if we don't, added Farmer Goofy. Oh, I know, said Farmer Mickey. Oh, I'll sell Bossy, the cow, and buy some food. If you've ever seen the animated version of this, this scene is spectacular. Mickey took the cow into town and sold her. And when he returned, he said, I have sold Bossy for three wonderful beans. Three beans, cried Donald and Goofy. We can't live on three beans. Donald threw the beans on the floor in disgust. But, but, but they're magic beans, said Mickey as he sadly watched the beans roll through a crack in the floor. Goofy and Donald paid no attention to Mickey. They were too tired and hungry to listen. During the night, a moonbeam shone through the window and through the crack in the floor and onto the beans. The beams sprouted and began to grow. They grew into a stalk that lifted the house. The bean stalk climbed all the way to the sky. In the morning, the hungry farmers woke up and looked out the window. To their surprise, Happy Valley was gone. All they could see from their window was a tremendous castle. Let's go, said Mickey. Whoever lives in that big castle must have plenty of food to share. Mickey, Donald, and Goofy climbed to the top of the castle stairs and crawled under the front door. On an enormous table, they saw huge platters of food. Mammoth pitchers of fresh, cold milk waited for them. The farmers quickly climbed up a table leg and ate, drank, and laughed merrily. As they were finishing their meal, a tiny voice called out to them. Oh, who was that? asked Mickey. It came from in there, said Donald, pointing to a box on the table. Mickey, Donald, and Goofy moved closer to the box. Who are you? they asked. It is I, the Golden Harp, said the soft voice. A giant kidnapped me and brought me here to his castle to sing to him. The farmers were very frightened to hear that the castle belonged to a giant. They were so frightened that they almost ran away. Wait, cried Mickey. We can't leave without the golden harp. Oh, you're right, said Goofy bravely. We have to rescue her and save Happy Valley. Uh -huh. Just then they heard loud footsteps. Everything in the room shook as the footsteps came closer and closer. You must hide, cried the golden harp. Mickey, Donald, and Goofy ran as quickly as they could to hide from the evil giant. The giant stomped over to the table and picked up a giant sandwich in his giant hand. He was just about to take a bite when he noticed that the sandwich was moving. 
Oh, there's a mouse in my sandwich, roared the giant. Oh, 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 I'm sorry, said Mickey. I had no idea this was uh, your sandwich. He jumped to the giant's shirt and slid down the giant's leg. Run, shouted Mickey to Donald and Goofy. The giant was furious. He chased the three farmers around the room until they were cornered. The giant reached down to scoop them into his hand, but he missed Mickey. The great big giant put the tiny little farmers into the box with the golden harp, and he locked the box and slipped the key into his great big pocket. Then he sat down in a chair to take a nap. Mickey waited in his hiding place behind the pitcher. And when the giant finally fell asleep, Mickey tiptoed over to the box and knocked. The key, whispered the golden harp. Get the key out of his pocket. Mickey hurried over to the sleeping giant. Very slowly and carefully, he pulled the key out of the giant's pocket. The giant mumbled something and stirred, but did not wake up. Mickey tiptoed back to the box and unlocked it. Goofy and Donald climbed out and then quickly lifted out the harp, the golden harp. The four were very quiet as they made their way to the front door. Just as they were sneaking past the giant, he opened one eye and let out a huge roar. Goofy and Donald ran with the harp in their arms, and Mickey realized the giant would catch them unless he did something to distract him. Well, you can't catch me, Mickey taunted. The angry giant ran towards Mickey, who dived under a rug. Over here! The giant was not fast enough to catch him. Mickey ran towards the open window. So long! He shouted, and he jumped outside. Mickey ran to the beanstalk, and the giant followed close behind. He leaped onto the beanstalk and slid down it in a flash. Donald and Goofy grabbed a saw and cut the beanstalk down just in the nick of time. The giant fell and crashed through the ground all the way to the center of the earth. The farmers took the golden harp back to her castle to sing. And from that time on, Happy Valley was once again I was happy once again. And happiest of all were the three brave farmers, Mickey, Donald, and Goofy. Good night. I love you.